-hmm. So uh, I'd like to introduce today's speaker, uh, Aaron Zhang, also goes by Lena, Lena Zhang or Aaron Zhang. Uh, talk about teachers. Uh, you'll, you'll hear um, an educational psychologist. You'll hear a psychologist, experimental psychologist. Uh, let's see. Uh, we met. Haven's uh, been three years at IPPE since 2019, I believe. Uh, February, March, something like that, 2019. We actually go back another couple of years to Korea University. That's where we met and started doing research together at Korea University. So we've been going together um, six years, something like that, total. Um, so you'll see some overlap in our research, but uh, you'll see a lot of independent research as well. So let me turn it over for what do teachers strive to achieve during their classroom instruction to Hayron. It's all yours. Thank you so much, Al. So first I will share my um, slide. Um, so thanks for giving me an opportunity to share my research program with everybody at IPP. Uh, yeah, I'm Heron Zhang, uh, and we'll talk about a research titled What Do Teachers Try to Achieve During Class Instruction? Uh, I will have my presentation according to this procedure. First, why I'm, I'm interested in teachers' instructional goal and why it is important. And then talk about the research I've done so far, and then talk about the next studies I'm now I'm working on now. I'm doing on now. And lastly, I will wrap up with some issue and take home message. So there, there was one picture of me. So she was very enthusiastic with her working and highly took care of her students. Regardless of her big motivation towards the students, I was suffered from her. And time passing by, I felt like losing my own opinion. Because the thinking that I have to fit what she wants was roaming around me all the time. So I was I was thinking that is she a bad teacher, but I didn't think so. And or I'm a bad student, no neither. But I was really unhappy with her. So meanwhile, one day I had a chance to read the 2000 article by Ryan DC, published in American Psychologist. And it addressed all the phenomenon I had experienced and it answered to what I was curious about. That was a teacher's motivating style. So as I reflected her, she was not a bad teacher, but had a high passion for her work. Then why did she control students? So in other words, one research question came to my mind. Why some teachers instruct students in autonomy supportive way, but others are not? Um, this one, uh, so I look, looked up all the um, existing literatures that explained uh, the antecedent of autonomy support. So research, the research is said that it's because of culture or administrative climate or personality. But all these antecedents explained well the phenomena, but, the, but they did not satisfy my understanding about her. So I reflected and analyzed her deeply, deeply and again, again. Then finally, I thought that probably her goal and or the teacher's goal uh, to achieve during an uh, instruction would be different. Then again, why instructional goal is important? Because uh, considering typical instructional, instructional flow, set a goal comes, uh, comes ahead of actual class instruction, and it is proximal, direct, immediate, and malleable under individual control. So to inv investigate my hypothesis, institutional goal predict motivating style, I conducted four series of studies. However, there was no scale to measure teachers' instructional goals, so I adopted goal content theory within self-determination theory. So it said that goals are not created equal, and intrinsic goals benefit more than extrinsic goals in well-being. It's because the aspiration and attainment of, of intrinsic goals are not related to Beijing need satisfaction than extrinsic goals. Also, I thought that education is more than achievement context. It is a development context. 
So I plan to translate intrinsic and extrinsic goal framework in general life context to education context. This table is name and conceptual definition for six domain general intrinsic and extrinsic life goals. And there are six education specific corresponding instructional goals. I applied the three intrinsic life goals, such as personal growth, close relationship, community contribution to three intrinsic instructional goals in education context. While three extrinsic life goals, such as financial success, fame, and Im image were applied to three extrinsic institutional goals in education context. Uh, considering general education context, I did not apply some domain specific goals like spirituality and health. So this figure represents the whole hypothesis I tested in the research. I will explain one by one. First, to measure intrinsic and extrinsic institutional goals, I needed to develop scales. So in study one, I selected items from 80 candidate item pool based on the theoretical criterion that is association with Beijing needs satisfaction. Intrinsic institutional goals should relate to Beijing needs satisfaction, but extrinsic goal uh, should not. So this is the, uh, the results showed that two intrin two in Intrinsic institutional goals and two extrinsic institutional goals appeared. So in study two, I validated newly developed intrinsic and extrinsic institutional goals. For the convergent validity, two intrinsic institutional goals related to more to existing intrinsic life goal scale whereas two extrinsic institutional goals related more to e existing uh, e extrinsic life goal scale. For the factorial validity, four-factor model was better than two-factor model, and higher order, order model showed relatively good model fit too. So lastly, I, uh, I lastly study three and four tested the main hypothesis. In study three, cross-sectional study support, supported the hypothesis, uh, but study four was, um, and the study three was a cross-sectional study, so I conducted again the longitudinal study in study four. So study four collected the data across one semester of a school year, and longitudinally and hierarchically, it showed that teacher perceived intrinsic institutional goal predicted their perceived autonomy support. But uh, teacher perceived exchanging institutional goal predicted their exchanging institutional goal predicted their perceived teacher control. Also, after controlling student individual perception, teacher perceived intrinsic institutional goal predicted students reported autonomy support, and teacher perceived exchange goal predicted students reported teacher control. So it looks like I successfully tested my hypothesis. However, one argument arose between me and John Marshall. John Marshall argued that motivating style causes institutional goals. However, I argued that institutional goal causes motivating style because goal is motivation and that analyze and direct behaviors. For me, motivating style was the certain behaviors like what they say and do. So in typical uh, inst institutional flow, Institutional goal setting comes before practicing lesson plan at a class. So I carried on the next study to see if intrinsic institutional goal can be manipulated. What I've, uh, what I've done was to manipulate this blue colored squared part that is a pre-institutional uh, session and measured the outcomes in successive uh, institutional um, session. So hypothesis was that if teachers increase their adoption of intrinsic institutional goal, then their adoption of autonomy support will be enhanced. So to uh, test this hypothesis, I conducted two studies. One is a lab experimental study, and the other one is a school intervention study. Uh, 
In lab experimental study, uh, participants were randomly assigned into either personal growth condition, relationship growth condition, or control group. In manipulation session, teachers prepared a lesson plan to achieve an institutional goal. For example, um, the, the personal growth condition was assigned, assigned like your institutional goal is to promote the student skill, skill development and interest. And relationship goal condition was your institutional goal is to promote close relationship of students. And control group was, was your institutional goal is to teach students. So in experimental session, teachers instruct to prepare the uh, class to students. This session was video recorded to measure teachers' institutional behavior. Uh, the pictures on the right side uh, showed experimental session and teacher sits right side and uh, two stu students sit left side. So relationship growth condition was necessary to teachers, uh, to students. So the experiment was designed to student, uh, two students and one teacher. And the teaching task was uh, puzzle solving. So after finishing experiment, participants completed questionnaires. The results showed that manipulation was successful, that personal growth and relationship growth condition reported higher intrinsic institutional goal than no goal control group. In terms of autonomy support, teachers and radar reported higher autonomy support in personal growth and relationship growth condition than no goal condition group. However, students reported no difference across the conditions. Study two was a school intervention study. Participants were 26 full-time teachers in the Philippines. Teachers were randomly assigned either intervention group or control group. Time one data was collected before the uh, intrinsic goal workshop, and time two data was collected a month later from uh, intrinsic goal workshop. Radar measured intrinsic institutional goal and autonomy support a week before the time two data collection. Teachers in intervention group participated in the workshop. Part one is about um, what is it, what it is, and part, part two was how to do it. This is the result. The figure represents teacher reported outcomes. Intervention group teachers increased intrinsic institutional goal, autonomy support, needs satisfaction, and teaching efficacy compared to control group teachers. Especially autonomy support was measured three different resources. For the question, um, the did intrinsic instructional goal increase autonomy supportive teachers? Uh, teacher data answered yes. And radar data answered yes. But again, student answered no, which was not significant. So throughout two studies, same result appeared. Teacher and radar agreed, but student did not. The recent, uh, so I interpret these things because um, the recent autonomy support literature addressed becoming an autonomy support as two steps. First step is um, the adopting autonomy supportive orientation that is basic student focused attitude and interpersonal tone of understanding. And second step is to practice seven autonomy supportive behaviors. So without autonomy supportive orientation, merely practice of seven uh, autonomy supportive behaviors will lead robot-like uh, practice and it is less effective, less effective. So probably uh, intrinsic institutional goals orient teachers toward greater autonomy supportive attitude and orientation, but it, it was not enough to produce a meaningful benefit to their students. So that is intrinsic institutional goal lead teachers, I want. However, they don't know how to do it. Uh, so to, to become fully autonomy supportive, teachers also might need to learn supplementally how to practice autonomy support. So now, what's next? I am working on the ton of voices study to test the hypothesis that Intrinsic institutional goal lead autonomy supportive orientation. So this is the same figure as the previous one. And in this study, I will see if adoption of intrinsic institutional goals predict their tone of understanding 
and student focused attitude. So in study one, teachers will speak theoretically designed and validated intrinsic institutional goal sentences. And in study two, students will listen to what teachers speak, which is recorded in study one. So this is a phase two phase study. So un unfortunately, this study is positive due to COVID restriction. Uh, another study I'm working on now is improving teachers' instructional goals. So I'm thinking more about um, what is really institutional goals. So goal has four components. So focused on an uh, object and use it to direct or guide behavior and focused on the future and is internally represented. So I apply, applied this um, the definition. So I defined instructional goals as the, as the teacher's future focused cognitive representation of desired student outcomes that guide the student classroom activity related to basic needs satisfaction um, or, or not related basic needs satisfaction. So also I was excited with uh, recent research by Emma and Rich that introduced new uh, intrinsic and extrinsic goals such as mastery and power. Thus, I improved our teachers' institutional goals and added capacity growth goals and uh, capacity growth goal in intrinsic goal category and approval and power in extrinsic goal category. So this time I removed uh, assured success goal I developed before because it does not fit in new definition, which is a desired student outcomes. The example of assured success was like my goal is to get a high so social status as a teacher. So in this case, desired outcome was not student but teacher. So further, uh, also one question arose to me. Um, and does exchange goal universally bad? And some of people might say, what's wrong with getting to a prestige, prestigious school and or behave in in ways that everyone agrees to represent a proper student. To answer this question, I brought a novel construct, such as I don't have any particular uh, particular goals toward my students. In the, pers in the perspective of quantity of motivation, extrinsic goal has a certain amount of motivation, but no goal is not. So this is a hypothesis figure Blue line represents a positive relation and red line represents a negative relation. Solid line represents a significantly hypothesized path and dashed line represents insignificantly hypothesized path. So first compared to intrinsic and extrinsic goal, intrinsic goal will predict autonomy support, well-being and basic needs satisfaction. But compared to extrinsic and no goal, no goal Extrinsic would predict work engagement, but noble would negatively predict well-being and uh, need satisfaction. And also, uh, the previous research showed that parents' uh, intrinsic and extrinsic goal or value can transmit to their children. So probably I thought that a uh, teacher's goal adoption would transfer to students also. So I will test the hierarchical, hierarchical intrinsic and extrinsic goal, goal adoption between teacher and student. So student goal adoption will be measured by exactly same items of teacher's goal, but will adopt it in student perspective. So this research is under uh, study two data collection now. Um, there are some issues I also need to clarify. So I'm think, still thinking of um, whose goal is? Is it teacher's goal and stu student goal? So um, adopting the definition of the um, the intrinsic institutional goal, the end state of institutional goal is desired stu student outcomes, but goal driver is teacher. Uh, so this is the um, the final take home message. So. Uh, intrinsic and uh, compare, compared to intrinsic and extrinsic institutional goals, adopting intrinsic uh, institutional goals benefit more teachers, such as autonomy support and basic needs, needs and teaching efficacy and well-being, and teachers 
engagement and be Beijing needs than extrinsic institutional goals. And also uh, compared to extrinsic and no goal, no goal, adopting extrinsic institutional goal would not universally bad, I think. And it is better than no goal. So because it energizes teacher and student to engage in teaching and learning uh, more than no goal. So. Thank you for your uh, listening and I'm happy with any comments and uh, a question.